Those who steal often give more buildup. They want to sell their product somehow. We give medicine as if it is a feast. Okay. I hope there are no more fools disguising themselves as Swamiji's, even if God doesn't save you. You won't be disappointed if you trust God. More people trust Swamiji's and get cheated. I am not finding fault with you all. Follow whichever Swamiji you like. That is not my problem. Just don't add me to that list. That's it. If I am supposed to save you, then there will be no one to save you after a few years. Not even your father and mother. Your wisdom is your only support. Even if you respect your parents, they can save you only if they have knowledge. Don't get angry and ask me if I am saying that your parents don't have knowledge. They have knowledge. They got married and gave birth to you. That is not related to knowledge. They sent me to school because they had knowledge. Did you all study at home? Parents have experience and they shower love. They support you. And still you think that they don't have knowledge. Be casual. I am not asking you to relax. Who heard the noise from my hands? That's it. Did you take any effort for that? Wisdom is not about listening to me. It's a waste of my time as if I am busy. All of us are busy in life, especially on Sunday night. When everyone is ready with a glass, I meant you might be watching a good program together. Taking class, even at that time, is my duty. Do you think I will take class only if you come? I am not here for any of you. Just like how the honeybee collects honey. I will keep taking classes for those who are here. By praising me, or by getting fooled by me, there is no use of that. I am saying that with humbleness. I am just going to share the truth that I know because I believe that you can understand. I have never forced anyone to do what I say. That is very wrong. How long can you do that? It can't be done. I am trying hard to make you all understand. Even I believe that I can make you all understand. So please try to understand that. You have the same 24 hours that I have, and your time is as valuable as mine. So thank you all for giving me time. We will have a good time together. I just want sincerity during the session, and not seriousness. Some of you are looking at me as if I have come from the sky. Some people think that I'm a show-off. 10% of people belong to that category. They are my target. That 10% will be clueless even now. Don't do anything. I have medicine and injection, but the hands are yours. You can poke using it as you wish. I don't care whether you are angry or not. You are here to poke, and you have to do that. You think that you are going to poke only today. Not at all. Vaccination is just for a second. But the germs can't be destroyed. Did any of you destroy Corona? You can pacify big rowdies. You can't even correct Corona. But you are arrogant enough to try and correct God. Not all you can understand this. Only the wise ones can understand. If you can't understand, leave it. Don't take too much effort to understand what you cannot. You can't understand. That's it. God didn't create you for you to understand everything. Because I myself don't understand what to do. There is nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't commit any mistake or do something wrong knowingly. When something goes wrong, it's fine. Because as humans, we can rectify it. I am not saying that I don't have power. But even if one person here believes that I have power, then I am requesting you. Understand that God has created you with the same power. Once you stick on to this point, don't accept what I'm saying. No need at all. Try to apply what you understood. That's my humble request. I value your time. So, from this very moment, 
I am not bothered whether you listen or not. But I will scold you if you don't pay attention. Even if you borrow one crore, you can give it away for free. It's not my bad time or good time. My time is not right. This mess up happens only once in 12 years, or maybe once in 36 years. This second comes only once in 100 years. I am telling you that's the truth. Believe that. The only question Eason asked Agastyar, why did you change your name? Agastyar replied, I spent every second without realizing the importance of your presence. I asked you to give me a good time. I didn't understand the reason behind your smile. But now I understand that every second comes only once in a lifetime. Can anyone say no? Is this what Agastyar said? The time and your body have been created together and are in sync. This is only for humans. Hindus are generally fat. Christians are tall. Not at all. You can reduce your weight. But you have to do what needs to be done. Can karma be reduced or not? It can be done casually, but you have to do it. I don't want to know whether you have the belief. But from the moment you trust yourself, ask yourself these three questions. Why do you feel that you are suffering all the time? What was the mantra given to Kuberin? Don't ask why me. Ask why not me. You all say Kuberin mantra. What was the mantra God gave to Kuberin? Why am I suffering? Why did this happen to me? You won't understand my family problem. You will keep asking why me. Asen called you. Do you want to lead a good life? Whom are you jealous about? Get rid of the jealousy list. Make a list of your desires and the things you thought won't happen to you. There is a reason for things not happening. There is no greater power than God in this world. Make a list of things that you desire and get rid of the why me and your sufferings. Ask why not me instead. If you had asked why not me earlier itself, you would not have asked why me. That is Kubera Mantra. Some people show off saying that they know Priyanka Chopra Yoga Madonna, Yoga, etc. You know Priyanka Chopra Yoga or Madonna Yoga, but you don't know how to be good. Leave that. You don't know how to prosper. Prospering is very easy. Don't be sad first. Don't do anything that will make your family sad. This is my request. So, don't be sad. I am sharing with fun. But what I am sharing is not fun. A person goes to the doctor because he has stomach ache. The doctors are saying that he is all right. But the person is adamant. He says that there is a frog in his stomach and he can hear its croaking noise in his sleep. He goes to different places and meets different doctors before finally meeting a sage on top of the mountain. The sage asks him, what is wrong? He says that he can hear the sound of the frog croaking in his stomach. The sage touches the stomach and says that the frog is there. He is satisfied and says that he has been saying this all this time. The sage asks him to come the next day for operation. During the operation, the doctor asks the nurse to bring a bowl. The bowl contains water, which is needed for the frog to swim. The other person is very satisfied, but the doctor had already brought the frog and there was nothing in the person's stomach. He worships the doctor. Almost all of you are pretending to worry, but the truth is there is a frog in your stomach. I know that this is not a worry, but a frog, but you are not accepting and going to some sage. What do I do? Men become mothers in this place. You have to believe. Men become mothers all over India. Men say Kaliyama, talk to them. But I have said Kaliyama mantra in school. Even if you can't be powerful, what will help show the power? Let's all recite a mantra together. Jai Kali. So your opponent is finished. I am not playing. 
A guy in school was putting his tongue out, saying Kali was within him. Was he having a mental problem of sorts? He was just imagining. You will laugh now and ask the goddess for forgiveness later. You won't leave it just like that. When you think someone is equal to God, God will move away from you at that very moment. Without realizing that the God within you is your companion, the moment you think that someone else will bail you out of trouble, the God within you and his blessings will vanish. From the moment you think, is this what I said? Is this what is written? Don't think that Lord Shiva has a snake on his head or he is in Himalayas. Did the sages tell you this? The man who doesn't realize the presence of God within him will lose his peace once he trusts other humans. Wasn't this told in Thiruvasagam? Was this told by Thirunyana Samandar and by Manivasagar in Thiruvasagam? Twelve gods, which include goddesses. Does Lord Shiva have to be only in the Himalayas? Isn't he there in your house? But you shiver in front of God. Even seeing your favorite hero and heroine will make you shiver because you wished for it. Can you stay calm if you see Michael Jackson? Watch his concert videos. People just went berserk. Am I speaking truth or am I exaggerating? Because you have embraced the artist. If you can admire a human being and respect him, you feel bad when he dies because he is your wish and your desire. But once you realize that God created everything and that he is in a particular place, that excitement will never go away. I am not saying that God is not there in the Himalayas, but he is only there. He is not God. I fix a 20 watts light in my room and in the Himalayas. It's the same everywhere. Shouldn't it change to 100 watts in the Himalayas? But it won't change. Without increasing your watts, it will remain the same everywhere. Even if the saliva turns black or the pearl turns red, even if fire becomes water, all of this is impossible. Saliva can't be black. Pearl can't be red. Even if the saliva turns black or the pearl turns red, even if fire becomes water, this conversion will never happen. Water can be turned into fire by steaming. Even if fire becomes water, water in this unstable world is against you. Nothing is stable in this world. Changes are constant. Even if water in this unstable world, the God within you won't deny you or hate you. There is no chance at all. The one who doesn't realize his presence won't prosper or be successful because of his blessing.